Yes, you may be going through tough times and difficult moments. Yes, you may be experiencing lack. You may have nowhere to go. You are not sure of what next to do. You are not sure who to trust and go to for help. If you are experiencing these situations or more unpleasant situations and you need someone to trust in for help, remember to trust God. God is capable of doing all things and everything. There is no situation or problem that can overwhelm or limit the extent of His strength. If you go to man to do something for you, he will fail you because he is limited. But when you trust God for anything, he will do it because he is unlimited. He can turn around that situation suddenly. He can make all your troubles disappear. He can supply all your needs at the point when you need it. And he will not fail you when you call on him. He has a track record of being faithful and he will always come through for you. Even when your friends and loved ones desert you, God will never leave you. He will hold you tight and bring you to your destination safe and sound. He is the one friend you can count on at all times. Your only ally in this world full of lies and deceit. Stop looking to men because the arm of flesh will only fail. Instead, start looking up to God who can perform all things for you. Trust Him concerning that situation and you will see Him at work. He has never failed and He will not start now. To trust God completely would require you to believe in His strength, His reliability, His ability, and His word. Trusting God would require you to have faith in everything He says about your life, even when your situation would seem otherwise. When your life is going down the hill and you do not know what to do to get you back up again, just trust God and have faith that He can lift your life up again and He will do it because He has promised never to fail us. His word is infallible and He has said that He honors His word more than His name. Even if the earth or the heavens are no more, God's word will still remain. That should give you enough confidence in God. He is the Almighty God, omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. He is the most powerful force on earth and in heaven. He has been before time began, and He would still remain when time becomes non-existent. Would you not rather put your trust in the most powerful entity on the surface of the earth? Would you not rather join forces with Him? Time and time again, He has proven to be true and faithful. We have records of His ability and faithfulness towards His children in the scriptures. And even in our contemporary world today, there are many testimonies out there that support the fact that God is good and He is faithful. First, you need to realize that He has the power to do it. He is the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for Him to do? Aside from His ability, you have to trust that He is willing to do that which you desire and long for. In the Bible, that leper acknowledged Christ's power to heal him of his infirmity, and so he told Jesus that if he was willing, he could make him clean, and Jesus healed him. As believers, we are no longer in doubt of what God wants to do in our lives. He is both able and willing to do much more than we could ever ask or think. God is very gracious. He is not unconcerned about what concerns you. His hands are not short. They cannot reach you. He just wants you to trust Him. When you trust God on a matter, take it off your mind because it is left for Him to do it now and He can never fail. Trusting God will require you to not only stop worrying about it, but also to not take it to other people for secondary help. You do not need to know how He would do it. It's not your concern at all. Just focus on seeing the results. Let your face be set like a flint in your faith in God. Do not have a backup plan or let God be your backup plan. No, it does not work that way. A man full of doubts can receive nothing from God. Get rid of the doubts in your heart and let God be both your main plan and the backup plan. Just leave Him to take control. Allow Him to take the reins of the situation. When He is in charge, you are in the safest hands ever. God takes up many form in our lives, so do not be afraid about anything. Just trust God and He will do it. The psalmist spoke about God being his shepherd, and as a sheep trusts his shepherd solely for its food and necessary requirements, so you should trust God to do that important thing for you. 
You are not permitted to lack or worry over anything at all. God has abundant resources to erase every iota of lack in your life, and you can unlock this abundance and erase lack just by trusting Him. Just have faith and trust in God. If you do not want to suffer shame, if you do not want life to be difficult, just trust God to do everything, and because He is God, He will surely do it. Trusting God is the only definite way to have anything done in your life. Sometimes, trusting God may seem illogical and you might have the urge to take things in your hands and run your life yourself. Trust God with all your entirety. To trust God is not easy. You will have to cast all your anxieties, worries, and fears on Him. You will also have to seek the truth in the scripture. This truth is what will free you from the expectations of doing everything yourself, but rather to trust in God. To trust God completely, you will need to cast out every unbelief or doubt from your life. You will also need to pray and talk to Him to help and build up your trust in Him. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Do not rely on your own wisdom or strength to do something. Just trust God to do that thing and everything, and He will surely do it for you. It is not your business how He will do it or when He will do it. A sheep never worries about the shepherd. Rather, it's the other way around. The sheep trust the shepherd, and the shepherd always leads the sheep to the best pastures. In the same vein, you are to trust God, and He will do that which is best for you. Your part in the equation is just to trust and trust without faltering, and God's part is to do that thing at the perfect time. God is a perfect God, and so He is never late. He does all things perfectly in the right time. This serves as an added advantage to why you should trust God, because when you put your trust in men to do something, men could delay you or come late. But God will always come at the perfect time. Remember that God is never late. You are just early. Also, your faith and trust in God has to be sincere and genuine. It is the depth of your trust in God that will provoke Him to come quickly and intervene in your life by doing that which you want Him to do. So trust Him, have faith, believe, and cast out every unbelief. Your trust in God will make you courageous and you will not fear any bad thing or bad news. Your trust will remind you of His presence and give you the knowledge that He is doing everything for you and everything He does is for your good. So trust God, trust without failing, trust God without giving up, trust God to do something, and trust God to do everything. Whatever you trust Him to do is what He will do. He never disappoints or fails. God is worthy of your trust. He deserves it. He knows better than you, and He knows what He is doing. All things are possible with Him. He has the perfect timing for every situation, so trust Him. Start trusting God to do that which you cannot do from today and believe that He will do it because He will. You will get to that height that people have tagged impossible. You will get out of that terrible situation you happen to find yourself. You will rise again from the pit in that valley you happen to find yourself. God will make you great and give you a voice among nations. He will supply all your needs and give you victory over life's battles. Whatever your desire is, Whatever your petitions are, just trust God to do it, and He will not fail.